The Home Garden, a place to grow, a place of beauty, a place to play. But many of us don't realize that our backyards, even those located in urban areas, can be both a source of food and a way to reduce our impact on the climate. The Union of Concerned Scientists is helping people adopt smart gardening practices that can reduce global warming emissions. We're also asking gardeners to help us encourage our leaders in Washington to support similar practices on farms across the country by signing our climate-friendly garden pledge. What's the connection between farms and gardens? We went to see climate-friendly urban farming in action at Eden Place Nature Center in Chicago to find out. Volunteers demonstrate practices that have benefits for the environment and the climate, such as composting and organic pest control methods, and they teach visitors about the systems involved in getting food from farm to fork. I feel like if more people knew about this place and took the initiative to make either their own gardens, that it would be great for not only the environment, but to know, you know, get your hands dirty, learn how to grow your own products, because, you know, you never know what's going to happen in the world. This is a, a wonderful environment to come in to learn how to do your gardening. This is a wonderful environment to come in just to learn how to eat healthy, how to provide uh, healthy food for your family. And then what you find out is it's not as difficult as you think it is. These onions now uh, have been growing since last winter. Michael Howard, founder of Eden Place, started the center as a family project. Frustrated with an illegal dump across the street from his home, Michael and his family and friends removed over 200 tons of debris from the three-acre site and transformed it into a thriving farm with working vegetable gardens, free-range hens for eggs, native grasslands, and woods. What we're trying to do today is to use the Eden Place as an environmental learning center for the entire city of Chicago, where people come and they learn about the ecosystems that we need to be better stewards of so that we can have a place where our children children can have a future. I'm Karen Perry Stillerman and I'm with the Union of Concerned Scientists from Washington DC and one of the issues that we're working on and, and most focus on is how we make agriculture, farming and food production more environmentally friendly. And we're so excited to be here to showcase the work that the Eden Place Nature Center and its project Urban Eden Farms is doing um, on, this, on this front. This is our compost station where we actually teach home composting. Like many home and community gardeners, Eden Place is using climate friendly practices like composting garden waste and food scraps, planting trees, and growing food locally. Had some rosemary from the garden. 90% of all produce that comes into the state of Illinois comes from outside of the state. We've seen an explosion of community gardens across the city, and I think the more that people can see and empower themselves to um, uh, to control their own produce that is free of pesticides and chemicals, the more that they can appreciate that. Well, I think uh, Eden Place is the answer to global warming at its most minute and most macro stage. I mean, if just look at it. We're breathing fresh air right now. This ground, this soil is playing a role with the temperature level. Gardeners, in, in a lot of cases, are already part of the solution to global warming and other problems. Um, but our food system, our agriculture system on that large scale, for the most part, isn't. Um, so we want to say to gardeners, look, you're already doing this. Help us help farmers by putting into place policies um, in the Farm Bill and other places that help encourage these climate-friendly practices on a large scale. So everything you can do in a 20 by 20 garden in the backyard, you can do on a large scale on a farm. It just requires the, um, I think, public will, um, the resources and the incentives for farmers to do, um, to put in place these kinds of practices. Current federal farm policies direct millions of dollars to farmers to grow crops in ways that are harmful to the climate, our water, and our soil. As gardeners learn how to adopt better practices, they can also ask Congress to encourage farmers to do the same. It starts with something as simple as signing the Union of Concerned Scientists Climate Friendly Garden Pledge. This is a, an effort that the Union of Concerned Scientists is making to show that people all across the country are supporting these kinds of practices, want to undertake them in their own gardens if they have one. If you're doing gardening, if you're working here in the, in the garden this summer, come on up and sign the pledge. For more information about smart gardening practices for your backyard and to take the Union of Concerned Scientists Climate Friendly Garden Pledge, 
visit our website at climatefriendlygarden.org today.